Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, which is your station where you get to watch and learn and understand. I'm your Twitter, Mr. Mwangi Francis, taking you through physics from 3 and uh, under the topic of uh, uh, linear motion. And we have introduced ourselves to this topic. And in this lesson, we are looking at uh, uh, displacement time graph. We have previously looked at uh, distance time graph, velocity time graph, and do pay attention and follow the lesson through so and to the goals of this lesson by the end of this lesson you will be able to draw displacement time graph as well as describe them and also you'll be able to solve problems involving displacement time graph so let's recall what a distance time graph looks like what the gradient represents so you, re you remember that uh, the gradient of a distance time graph uh, uh, basically gives us the speed at which the body is moving. What about uh, the, uh, the change uh, the speed at a given point if the body is not moving with a uniform uh, velocity or uniform speed? At point Y we get uh, the gradient of that line at that point and the gradient of that line it's therefore determined to give us uh, the speed of the body at that point and in this case the gradient therefore is 7 meters per second now let's head to displacement time graph the gradient of a displacement time graph now gives us velocity this is a scalar quantity the graph opposite shows uh, that the displacement of an object shown upward varies with time Note how the gradient falls from a high positive value to a zero at m maximum height to a larger negative value. This is the graph that we are referring to, which gives us the displacement of a body after being uh, projected upwards and then forced back to its position. Since time waits for no man, we have the highest point reached at w after one second, and after the other one second, goes back to its position so we estimate the initial velocity of the object by determining the initial gradient which is uh, uh, by getting the change in y and the change in x and this gives us 10 meters per second uh, which is our initial velocity and that is by getting the gradient of the line at that point and let's look at question uh, number two uh, the graph below shows the velocity time graph for a car accelerated and let's try to calculate uh, the state at which number one the acceleration of the car during the first four seconds b the displacement of the car after six seconds c the time t of the displacement after 11 seconds and the average velocity of the car over the 11 seconds so solution how do we get the acceleration of the car during the first four seconds acceleration will be given by the gradient and the gradient is given by change in y over change in x which gives us an acceleration of three meters per second in determining the displacement uh, the displacement of the car after six seconds this will be given by the area under the graph and the area of the graph is the area of part a and the area of part b uh, the area of part A is a, is, a, is a triangle given by a half base times height and the base is given by 12 meters multiplied by height that is the area of B and this gives us a total of 48 so the displacement of the body is 48 meters now solving part C uh, that is the time by similar triangles you will realize that uh, the test uh, by similar triangle by getting the time at t which gives us the gradient of the uh, the triangle uh, gives us 12 uh, seconds and 10 seconds that is uh, the gradient of t subtracted by 6 and 11 minus t which is the distance that uh, the time we need to get uh, when we subtract the two and get the gradient it gives us 8.73 seconds Note that t can also be found by scale drawing or using the equations of uniform acceleration. So did we get to understand the concept of this lesson? Uh, let's try to answer the following question. Describe the motion shown by the displacement time graph shown below. You can refer this 
to uh, secondary physics students book 3 or send us a text through the numbers on your screen or visit our Facebook and YouTube channel at Erimu TV or give us a tweet at Erimu TV underscore KE. So stay tuned for more lessons to come. I'm your tutor Mr. Mongi. Stay tuned.